Hey guys, my name is Elena, I am a graphic designer and welcome to my channel about graphic design. And today I'm going to show you how to draw this spring composition with paper cutout style. And if you're interested, please keep watching. Well, guys, let's start. At first, let's move those colors to the swatch panel. Let's select these colors and we need to move them here. Press this icon with three lines, select new color group and OK. And here it is, our colors. Now let's create background. Select eyedropper tool, this color, rectangle tool, and now hold shift and create the square. Like this, the background is ready. Now let's create the fence. Select this color and rectangle tool. And now let's draw the first shape of our fence like this. Now select the add anchor point tool and add here one point. Now direct selection tool, select this point and move it up like this. Okay. Now selection tool and select this shape, hold ALT and make the copy and move here. Now press CTRL D as many times as you need. OK. Now select all shapes without background and move them like this. Now Select background, copy and paste it. Select the copy of background and this shape and Pathfinder intersect. The same copy and paste background, select the copy and the, this shape, Pathfinder intersect. OK. Now select rectangle tool with the same color. Draw here the shape like this and move this shape and background to back. Okay. Now let's select these shapes and Ctrl G. Group them. Okay. Now let's draw the grass. Select this color and ellipse tool and draw the ellipse like this. Now selection tool and hold ALT and make two copies. One and two. Now select all three shapes and Pathfinder Unite. Now copy and paste background, select the copy of background and the grass and Pathfinder intersect. OK, now pen tool with the same color and let's draw here shapes like this. It's our future grass. Like this. Now move here. Now select direct selection tool and any corner and you need hold and drag the corner till you like the result. You need to round corners. Now uh, select transform reflect vertical copy. Move the copy here like this. Now select both shapes and group them, Ctrl G. And again 
transform reflect vertical copy and let's play with the grass like this copy and paste it rotate it till you like the result now select all shapes of the grass like this and now go to pathfinder unite now again copy and paste background select the copy and the grass and pathfinder um, intersect okay now copy and paste the grass move the copy a little up like this select more darker green color this one and send the copy to backward and move the shape a little up okay now select the fence and move it a little up like this okay now let's add the shadows select the grass go to effect stylize drop shadow and now you need to select here the color a little darker than the color behind your uh, shadow so you need to select the hue a little darker than your dark green grass like this and if you think you need more darker color just egg and press here and select one more time and other options are standard for now okay now again select uh, the dark green grass and effect stylize drop shadow and here we need to select the color a little darker than the color of our fence like this and uh, the other options will be here this one and here this one you need to play with options as you like here no rules for the shadows you need to see how it will be better for your design and here select the fans uh, effect stylize drop shadow and now we need to select color a little darker than the sky than your background okay preview yes now here you can um, change the blur or here these options to make more interesting design you need to play with these options to see uh, how your shadow will be looks better and select these long um, rectangle again effect style drop shadow and here it is i think these options pretty good but here better five guys you need to play with shadows and sizes because this is paper cutout style and here shadows can be different hues and sizes now let's select this color in the stroke and pen tool and now let's draw the tree now i'm going to create like skeleton of the tree and every line of the skeleton must be separate so escape now unselect the line select again pen tool and draw the line here here will be the line 
uh, like this. Here the point and now here one more point. Now escape, unselect the line and again pen tool and let's draw here new line. Escape, unselect and again new line. Well guys, I'm going to create my uh, tree. You can create your own branches and create your own skeleton of the tree. It's your vision. Now select the first line. You need to be sure that here basic line. Now select stroke and select here this shape. Okay. And now here let's write 80. Okay, great. Now select this um, line and again here this shape. And here you can write a little smaller, for example, 50 or better 40. Yes, you need to be uh, sure that your branches look pretty, so you can play the, these uh, options as you think it will be more interesting. So now I'm going to play the, the sizes of the branches uh, uh, and select more interesting now here select this line and make it a little longer like this and now this line go to object expand now we need to cut off the part of the tree select rectangle tool and draw the rectangle like rectangle like this select both shapes and pathfinder exclude ungroup and delete unwanted part and let's continue create our branches. So let's play these options here. Like this. And now let's select all these lines and rotate them okay you can make your branches fatter thinner you can create more branches so guys it's just uh, an example and uh, just to uh, help you understand how to create those three uh, these three now select the whole tree and object expand appearance and pathfinder unite now guys if you want you can to round some corners select direct selection tool select for example these two corners and hold and drag them and the same here select these two corners these two points and hold and drag them okay uh, I think we can make here one more round corner and that's all. Now move the tree and background to back. Okay. And now let's move the tree a little um, uh, here and a little up this way okay now let's create the flower select uh, this color and rectangle tool hold shift and create the small square now hold shift and rotate it now select uh, this tool again hold shift and drag here and drag here we create the heart now we need to cut off the part of the heart. 
select the hat and copy and paste it now select a rectangle tool draw the rectangle like this now select the copy of the heart and rectangle and Pathfinder intersect. And now here we need this color. Now select uh, the heart, both shapes, and transform, rotate. And here we need uh, nine, uh, sorry, 180. Okay, copy. And move the heart here. Let's fix here like this. Now select both shapes, transform, uh, rotate, and here 90. Copy. Okay, the flutter is ready. Now let's add colors to any shape. Select this shape and this color. And here this one. Mm, here this one and the last one here this one. Okay. Now the flower is ready. Now select a green color and ellipse tool draw the ellipse like this now make the copy hold out and create the copy select both shapes and here we need this shape pathfinder intersect it's the leaf now we need again cut off the half of the leaf, create rectangle and copy and paste the leaf. Select the copy and rectangle and Pathfinder intersect. And we need here, um, uh, here dark green color. Okay. Now select the flower and group it ctrl g now select uh, the leaf and the same group it and now let's play with these two shapes move the flower here let's make this branch a little longer select direct selection tool and this point and make it longer now the flower here move here well, let's make it a little smaller and select uh, the leaf and rotate it like this. Now you can make it smaller. So now I'm going to play with the flower and the leaf. Select the leaf, copy and paste it, transform, reflect, vertical copy and move this leaf here. Now select the flower, effect, stylus, drop shadow and here I think the color for the shadow is great but here you can the same play with the blur and other options to make more paper view okay i think now it's pretty okay now select the leaf and the same effect, stylize, drop shadow and the same color and here we need to play as well with options. Okay.
Okay, and the same here. Object, stylus, drop shadow. And here we need to adjust minus. Yes. Okay. And now here it is our main shapes are ready. Now let's play with them. Copy and paste uh, the flower and the leaves and make them bigger, smaller. So now you see as I'm going to do it. Well, select the flower, copy and paste it. And let's make it smaller. You see, when you make the flower smaller, the shadow uh, is uh, became a little bigger. So if you want to uh, change uh, the blur, for example, you can just press here and change here uh, the sizes. But uh, it's not necessary. It's pretty interesting if the uh, flower will be ha will be um, have uh, different sizes uh, of the shadows. Now let's play the leaves and flowers. Well, guys, the tree is ready. Let's play a little with the sizes, but I think it's pretty interesting. Now select the tree and move it a little here. Like this. Now select the trunk of the tree and AFX stylus and here drop shadow and let's again play with options till you'd like the result. Okay, I think it's nice. Okay, yes, I like it. Now let's create the sun, select this uh, light orange color and ellipse tool, hold shift and create uh, the circle. Now select dark orange color and again ellipse tool and create this small ellipse. Don't forget to hold shift to create perfect ellipse. Now copy and paste it. Select both ellipses and align them. Now transform, rev, rotate and here uh, 30. Preview. OK. Copy and Ctrl D as many times as you need it. Now select all small ellipses and Pathfinder Unite move this sun to front now select this part and go to effect style drop shadow and let's select the new color here we need dark orange color It's pretty funny to select colors. OK. And let's play here a little with options. Well, now I think it's pretty good. You can play as you like. OK. Select the sun and uh, here effect, style, drop shadow. And now we need to select uh, dark blue color. Okay. 
and again let's play with options mm, let's make the shadow more longer like this okay i think it's now very pretty now let's draw the rope here select this color in the stroke and select pen tool and here are first point and here the second just hold and drag this point and make the shape like this now escape okay select this brush and now let's draw here some lines the same with help of pen tool the first one select this brush and the same the second here escape to escape pen tool mode uh, okay now let's a little play with these lines rotate them make them a little shorter and like this and rotate again move here okay let's look yes i like it now let's draw baby clothes okay let's move the artboard here and now select this light orange color and rectangle tool draw the rectangle like this now draw one more rectangle like this and select them and align them now select this one effect warp bulge and here vertical and here i think it's better mm, minus 18 and select this one effect warp arc and here horizontal and here the same 18 okay now object expand appearance and the same here object expand appearance now select ellipse tool and draw here the ellipse like this let's move it let's select the color like this to see it okay now copy and paste the ellipse and now let's play with these two shapes let's move them and align them to understand how it will be looks it will be look ah uh, okay i think now it's pretty select all three shapes and pathfinder exclude ungroup delete these two parts and this one make this color and now make it i think a little longer a little down mm, a little shorter okay now it's pretty now select these two shapes but at first let's select these two points and a little move them to the left and these two points a little to the right now select these two shapes and pathfinder unite and now here we need select again uh, ellipse tool with the gray color and to create the cut here now go to align 
and Pathfinder. Exclude, ungroup, delete unwanted part and this part make this color. Ok, pretty nice. Uh, now select these two points and a little round corners. The same here. And the same here a little and the same here. Like this. Ok. Now select this color and ellipse tool and let's create this small ellipse. Now hold out and make some copies. Now select all these four shapes and transform reflect vertical copy and move here ok now select three shapes copy and paste them and move here I think we need to add one more shape control and paste copy and paste sorry and Let's play with the shapes. Now select all these shapes. Pathfinder Unite. The same here. Unite. Now copy and paste orange shape. Select the copy and this shape. Pathfinder Intersect. Ok, now select this shape and let's move it. Ok, I think let's rotate it like this. Now a little up. Yes, I think now it's great. Now select this shape and transform reflect vertical copy and move the copy here like this. Now twice copy and paste orange shape. Select the copy and this shape Pathfinder intersect and again Pathfinder intersect. Well, it's pretty. Uh, now let's add more details. Select ellipse tool and create the small ellipse like this. Select it. Uh, make it a little bigger select effect uh, distort and transform and here transform and here let's write 20 here 10 preview here better 15 ok object expand appearance and Let's copy and paste these two shapes. Just hold out and make the copy. Select both shapes and group them. And again transform and here 50. And here 10. Ok. Uh, now uh, object. Expand appearance. Make a little smaller this texture a little bigger like this and I think this way it's pretty now copy and paste the orange shape and move the orange shape in front, select the texture and the orange shape and Pathfinder crop. Ok, now we need uh, this light color in the stroke and pen tool and just draw here this simple line escape 
and the one more line here like this escape now select these two lines and this brush object expand appearance uh, now select this orange shape and copy and paste it and select this shape and Pathfinder intersect again copy and paste and this shape and Pathfinder intersect well uh, let's look we need to add here one more detail select ellipse tool and create the ellipse like this now rectangle tool and cut off the part select these two shapes and Pathfinder intersect move here okay I think it's ready now select the baby calves and make it smaller and move here a little bigger rotate it okay let's move it a, a little up and now let's create the close pins we need to select a light uh, brown color and rectangle tool and let's draw here the rectangle like this now select free transform tool select this option and just move these two points closer to the center select the shape and move here now copy and paste it and put here well great um, now uh, let's uh, select the orange shape effects uh, stylize drop drop shadow and here I think the color is great but you can select for example different um, hue and let's play a little bit with options you even um, can make the opacity for example 50 now select this shape fx stylize drop shadow and now we need dark orange color okay okay and let's play again here great now uh, select these shapes and fx stylus drop shadow and uh, let's change here the color to dark blue and okay now select the close and transform reflect vertical copy and move here okay now let's change the color select uh, the orange color and um, select this pink color um, now select this shape and here this drop shadow and here we need dark pink dark violet okay okay and now i want to change shadow here select um, pink shape and this option and here let's change the direction of the shadow now let's group the baby clothes select uh, the pink one and ctrl g now select the yellow one 
and control G. Let's move the chorus like this. Uh -huh. Now I think we can make it a little smaller this way. It's just my vision. And now let's look. Now select these two shapes and make them more smaller a little bigger and now it's great size. Uh, now let's select the sun and move it closer here. Well guys, I think that the composition is ready. Now I'm going to create the frame. Select uh, this color and uh, rectangle tool and create, create rectangle 1000 to 1000. OK, and move here. Now create, uh, select ellipse tool, hold shift and create this circle like this. The size of the circle is your own vision. You can make it bigger or smaller as you like. I make it pretty big. OK, align it. And now Pathfinder exclude. Great. And let's move here. Uh, now let's select uh, the new shape and change stroke to fill and move the flower and the leaves to front. Now return fill. And now we need to move flowers and leaves. Let's again here fill to stroke and let's move here the leaves and the flower. Okay, now let's move this one here and let's rotate this one. Now again stroke to fill and here I want to change color of the shadow. Select uh, the flower, here drop shadow and here dark um, brown color. Okay. And the same here. Again here dark brown color. Okay, and the same here. And one more time with uh, this leaf. Okay, okay. And now I'm going to add shadow to our rope. Select the rope, object, expand appearance. Now, uh, effect, stylize, drop shadow. And uh, here we need dark blue color. Okay. And now let's play with options here. Like this. I think now it's interesting, but uh, let's a little play with this shadow, select it and here better this option and now I think we need to make um, opacity here 50. Okay, now I like it. Now select the frame object stylized drop shadow and here the color is great but here we need to uh, create um, 
these options to make our shadow more bigger and more blur. Okay. I like it. And now we need to create clipping mask to cut off shadows behind their artboard. Create rectangle 1000 to 1000. Move here and select the whole design with the new square and right click make clipping mask okay guys our composition is ready well guys that's all for today hope you like my tutorial if yes give me a like and subscribe and see you in the next tutorials in adobe illustrator or in the next videos about the graphic design bye bye guys Mwah.